Well, welcome back. In this section, we're going to take a look at the kissing cousin to putting bones on characters. And that happens to be actually rigging the characters, where you have your skeleton, but not only do you have the skeleton, but now you can go ahead and start adding bones to them and making them connect and work exactly the way you want to. There's a little bit of art to it. There's a little bit of science. And it's very important to understand and explore some of the additional features that Anime Studio Pro has with it to make this job easier because it can be very complex, especially when you get into some of those additional type of layer binding things that we looked at in the preceding section. Let's go ahead and take a look at a basic scene set up right now. So here we are back in Anime Studio Pro. And if you have access to the working files, you can go ahead and open Rigging 06A, which is the file where we're setting up our initial rig. There's also one included in here that's the completed one if you just want to jump to it and take a look at that. Before we get into actually starting to connect and rig a character together, I did want to cover some very important best methods when you start designing your character. That's something we haven't talked about so far. One of the best things to do, and I'll activate it now, is to simply do a quick sketch. This is a digital sketch that I did with a tablet and painter. You can use Photoshop, you can use some of those other programs that have, you know, bitmap capability. So you can go ahead and quickly get some ideas down and work on top of it. It's just smart, it takes a little bit of time to do it, but it saves so much time instead of just drawing straight out of the box right inside anime. We have a slightly dismembered character here, and that's quite intentional. As we start putting characters together, we need to do it in moving body parts. Now, while I can go ahead and separate the arms on my sketch, and I keep them close together here just for the sake of scale, things like the head, oh, I like to actually have that on there. Drawing a you know, completely dismembered character, is, mm, it's a little unsettling. However, doing this, I understand that the legs are going to be separate, the actual hip section will be a separate element. Each leg by itself, each arm by itself, I've got the torso and then I've got the head so we can affect all those different things separately. Over here in the layers palette, you can see that I've got these all put together right now on their own layers. If I turn that on, you'll see where I drew over the top right here in anime. And you could import a file from Illustrator or another vector type of program. And to get a sketch into anime, you'll notice this bottom layer has a little picture next to it. When you go to insert a layer, one of the options you have is an image layer. And this is where you can go ahead and easily import any of the formats that it supports to get it into your scene. Let me go ahead and click off that because we don't actually want to import that now. Now you may be looking at this and going, holy cow, um, that's nice that you have a sketch, but doesn't it disappear when you, you know, draw over the top? And the answer is yes, unless you come to the display quality areas. And this is where you'll want to consider some of the other options you've got available for displays here, where you can go ahead and turn off fills and outlines and see your sketch very completely as you work over the top. I have anti-aliasing turned on. If I turn that off and enable outlines, then we can just see the th thick and thin parts. I can turn off the layers individually so that they don't cover up one another and start to make more of a, a visual mess than I want. So we've got some good tools here to help manage our scene as we start developing the character's body parts. Also, in an earlier section, we took a look at how to apply styles to a character, and that's something that I did here. I set up some basic styles for skin tone, shadowed skin tone, this kind of leather or cloth, and then the shadowed one. So if I want to change it later on, it's just a question of working with the styles. And since we already covered that in an earlier lesson, I won't do that right now. So the first thing we need to do now in the rigging section is go ahead and start assembling all our layers into that one bone layer. Let's go ahead and add that layer now. I'll click New down here in the lower right hand corner, come to Bone. And the first thing I always want to do, I'll double click on that and name this, and we'll just call this Monster Monster Bone. And I'll move it to the top of my stack here in the Layers palette. Let me make sure I get that all the way to the top and drag that up there. The next thing is to get each one of these layers into that. Now, the order that these stack in is very, very important the right arm, and so you know what I'm talking about, 
When I'm looking at the screen and at the character, I'm talking about the character's right arm, not the right arm as it appears to me on the screen. This is kind of a small distinction, but very important. And it's good to get in the habit if you want to call the arm on the right side of the screen the right arm. Great. More power to you. Just make sure you do it consistently on each of the files you build so you don't have a headache later on. In this case, let me go ahead and just quickly dump all the bones or all the body part layers into the bone layer. And then I'm going to go ahead and reorganize those a little bit. And we'll get to it. The monster sketch layer, I can go ahead and turn off right now. We don't need to see that. We have got some issues going on, like the head is behind the body. A little more unsettling type of things. We'll come to head here and move that up to the very top. So that covers the torso. The torso, I want to be ahead of the hips because we've got this kind of bulging stomach that I want to hang over the front of that a little bit. But now with the left arm, the character's left arm, I want that to be in front of everything else except the head, or maybe even the head if the character raises the arm up. So I need to go ahead and grab the left arm and drag that up even above the head. Now as I'm looking at this, I want the arm to be all the way in the back there so the character's right arm I need to get in here. We'll drag that down to the bottom a little bit, and that's going to go behind torso, behind everything else. The right arm, I want that to be behind everything else. So I've got right leg back behind, I've got right arm back behind torso, hips, left leg out in front, and I may want to put that back behind. You know, actually, I think I'll do that right now. Sometimes you just have to see how it's going to work, how it's going to play out in your scene a little bit. Okay, we're set right there. In our next movie, we're going to go ahead and start working with rigging the parts together.